So I just broke my grandfather's pressure washer that we're borrowing. As you can see, that's cracked. I'll show you. It's that little piece there. Broke. I accidentally stepped on this because I was an idiot. And uh, here's the other piece. So I'm going to be sneaky and not tell. And I'm gonna, hopefully I can fit this one around there. It looks like the same dimensions as the other one was. I'll put the other, or at least close, and uh, put the other one in, and just hope it won't leak or anything. So this hopefully looks like it'll work. Uh, so I just gotta unscrew it from the pump there. This is a gas one. I got ready started. And then hopefully it won't leak. Oops. Duh. Right like this. Fits perfect. And then we just put in that gasket. Actually, I think it goes in the opposite way. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> You'll never know, except for the fact that that's going to slide back. Not unless it's up on the gasket, though. Oh, I think I repaired it for him. At least so I can get the deck done, because this is his. Uh, I'm going to have to tell him about it, but as long as I get it fixed. So that way I can do the deck, because I can't do his deck, I have to bring this back up to him. Because I was doing the fence while my dad borrowed it, and he wanted me to clean the fence, so. After I get this screwed in here. He usually shouldn't work on and stuff out here, but this is just a quick fix. On the job, you know. Alright, then we just need the garden hose, put that in, and hopefully that shouldn't leak. Oh, but you know what? Don't I need like a gas? Cause it's, no, wait, no, maybe I won't. Never mind. Um, so yeah, just put that on there, won't leak. That's going to go back anyways, but that's because there's no stop for it to go back. Let's see how it will work. Let me just hook up the old one. That there. I just got some grass in the pool. And that fixes it. No. Damn it, I should have got the one where I can pause because I'm just going to upload this through my iPod. So, uh, I'll go turn on the water and see what happens. Hopefully no leaks. What do you know, YouTube? No leaks. I fixed it. 
I'll save my butt because I wouldn't have earned that hundred bucks if this pressure washer breaks. Because I'm earning a hundred bucks to paint his deck and stuff, but it needs to be pressure washed first. Uh, let's see. The pressure's out. And we'll start it up and we'll see. Must have got some oil in the cylinder from sitting in front like that. Maybe I need to give it a few primes. Well, I guess priming wouldn't help. I know it was only a little valve, but it doesn't get much better than that. Save my ass. And that didn't even cost me a cent to repair that. Versus you would have went on e-replacement parts and probably spent like 10 bucks on that little piece of plastic there. The only difference is now that piece of plastic will go backwards. And it's always important to have those little plastic screens in there, because if you don't, you can get dirt inside a pump and it can damage the pump. And unlike this Briggs and Stratton, nothing's loose. Like the governor always usually gets loose on the engines and can't stand that. Because they go boom 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 boom. This one's not. <laughs> 